Virginia Woolf's 1927 novel, To the Lighthouse, tells the story of the Ramsey family and of Lily Briscoe and their trip to the Isle of Skye in Scotland. Now, the key image in this novel is that of the lighthouse, which probably doesn't surprise you considering the title of the novel. Now, most scholars, including Jack Stewart, argue that the lighthouse is a symbol of unity, a symbol of light, and in some cases, a symbol of Mrs. Ramsey herself. Yet, Virginia Woolf never actually intended the lighthouse to be a symbol of anything, saying the following. Now, Virginia Woolf's statement made me wonder why so many scholars continue to insist that the lighthouse is a symbol of unity when Woolf clearly did not intend for it to be. And this question led me to the realization that the lighthouse has both unity and disunity, and that's the point. By embracing the paradox of separation and connection, it's able to hold the novel together, just like the second section of the book is able to both divide and connect the first and third sections of the book. Consequently, I argue that the lighthouse is not a clear-cut symbol of unity, like most scholars argue, and that we have to realize that we have to see division in order to find unity. Now, at the very beginning of the novel, James is very upset because his father, Mr. Ramsey, will not allow him to go to the lighthouse. And Mrs. Ramsey perpetuates this argument by lying to her son and telling him that they will go to the lighthouse. Now, obviously, a lot of the emotional drama in this scene is caused by Mrs. Ramsey. But the entire time, the lighthouse is the image that pervades the work. It casts a shadow over James's hope of going to the lighthouse and causes tension in their family relationships. It's not until the very end of the novel that James and his father are able to go to the lighthouse and finally find unity. The same is true for Lily Briscoe. She has been conflicted the entire time with her ideal self, this idea of a modern woman who doesn't need to be married, yet she still admires Mrs. Ramsey, the Victorian mother. And it's not until she finally realizes that there's a division between these two ideas and that she is able to realize that she wants to be the modern woman, that she can draw the line on the canvas, the metaphorical lighthouse, and finally find some connection in herself. So although the lighthouse does bring several moments of unity in the text, it also brings many moments of disunity. And I think that was Virginia Woolf's point. She realized that in order to find any sort of connection, we have to recognize the division. Thank you.